Hi, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the AES show in New York. I'm here with Marek from Dangerous Music. He's going to be showing us their new converter, the Convert AD+. Marek. Here we go. So, Dangerous for years has built D to A converters since 2002. Very renowned in the mastering community. People love them. So we came out with some standalone uh, D to A's a, a year ago. And to marry it up with that, now we've built the Convert AD+. So we have an A to D converter. So what is it all about? Well, first of all, sonically, we know that Dangerous Music is transparent yet musical. So that's what you're going to get. You're not going to have some crazy change when you're going into your A to D converter, unless you want to. More about that in a moment. So what are some unusual features about it? Obviously, sample rate on the fly. We don't have to do any silly menus. So you're going digging in deep, right? And you don't know about the software. Calibration on the fly. Why do I care? Well, because if you're an avid guy, you're probably at minus 18. If you're a mastering guy, you may be at minus 14. If you're an uh, Apogee guy, you're probably at minus 16. I change that fast. Again, no software-driven menus, no things to make you crazy. I've got two analog stereo inputs that I can flip between on the fly. What does that mean? Great, maybe I'm a tracking guy. I'm tracking out of my mic pre's going into my input one. Now it's time to mix down. Come out of my final summing or my mixer or whatever I'm using and go into input two. Change it that quick, no issues. I've got something called ClipGuard here. ClipGuard is a unique feature that I don't know about in any other box out there. So ClipGuard is not a limiter it will not protect you from overs. If you, are, if you have overs, all it does is turn off the red light at your destination. Why do I care? Turn off the red light! Okay. Why do I care? Because if I'm sending that to iTunes, mastered for iTunes, or I'm sending that to a CD pressing plant, they will not accept it if I've got a red light, clip light on there, right? But maybe I want to mix into it and get a little bit of the sonics that, make, that you like about the clipping, right? Well, now you can do it. Just remember, if it's clipping, it's still going to be clipping with that button engaged. You just won't hear it. Okay, how about the uh, how about the meter scaling? So we can do either this big guy, the meter, the full size, or we can scale the last ten percent. And just look at that. Why is that important? Because the last ten, the last ten dB is really where people are looking and putting all their energy into. Do I have more dynamic range? Do I have less? So it's just a zoom function that brings you right in there. All right, last two points. The clock in here is amazing. So we're using the Jet PLL clock, but we beat the spec because everything surrounding it is so good. Uh, and lastly, we've got a transformer insert so I can bring in a pair of Hammond transformers that we've implemented with our own custom formula. So I can, I can bring in some of the color, uh, bring in the low end, that'll sort of bring up the octave of the low end. So for uh, in-ear buds and, and small speakers and stuff like that, it brings the warmth out. I can also use an emphasis control. And I'm just not even gonna tell you about it, except that it just sounds delicious and you can have fun with it. Thus, all these things out, it is transparent and musical. With the colors in, I've got all sorts of different options. That's my story. So the only converter you'll ever need, that's the idea. <laughs> that's it, man, unless you want a second one. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll all want a second one, but if we want a first one, how much is it going to cost us? 25.99 Street. Cool, and it's available now? Shipping in November. Wonderful, we yeah. look forward to trying it out. Right on. Thanks, Mario. Okay, thanks. Thank you.